What is up, y'all? It's Living with LT. I'm your host. How are you guys? First and foremost, I want to thank all my loyal subscribers for staying true to the channel. Very, very much appreciate your support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button. Please leave a comment and please, please subscribe. As always, let's go, guys. I have a card searching video. Had uh, the day off today and uh, trying out the infamous Wally world and seeing if there's uh, any kind of luck. I don't know if there's any flippers, scalpers already beating uh, everyone to the punch. So yes, I am on my day off. I have a job, but I'm on my day off looking for cards for you assholes out there who like to leave comments, you trolls. So let's see what we get up in the hizzo. Favorite lady is here. She hates me every time I come here. I never get anything. But it looks like it was stocked this week. Damn it, missed it. So, missed it, but we'll go see what else is around. Never give up. See you. What's up guys? I was at the Wally World and people were super super cool there. Got a few things for the house. Obviously there was no cards, but I spoke with one of the people in the yellow vest and at that location in my Wally World, they informed me that sometimes Thursdays they stock, but the vendor has been coming at random times and People are already lining up like it's Black Friday, so they already wiped everything out. So I may, because on Thursday evening, after work, go over there and see what's left over if I get lucky chance. But at least now I know there's random times. Um, I just heard that Friday morning at that location was uh, stocking sometimes in the morning. But uh, nevertheless, let's go to the next search. So this target, no dice. You can see the scalpers, flippers have already gotten over here on the product, but there's actually good news today. Because when you don't understand the market and you're not thinking outside the box, y'all miss out on some of this stuff. So my buddy uh, Jason might be actually happy to uh, hear. We found some hockey and this is interesting. I've never seen this before. And it's not like what color we So we'll see what we'll pick up today. So I'm still doing my research. And I think this is, I think for hockey, it's, you can actually grab all of these. So I think I'm gonna pick up two and leave actually two for some hockey people because I'm not an asshole like you flippers out there and then uh, I'm curious to see if this has any value so we'll see what I turn out with but so far I'm happy to find at least something so if you guys are curious this is what's left exactly I was the first one into the store today on my day off like I've mentioned before on my day off I actually have a job so on to the next location. Maybe not the biggest win or haul from Target, but uh, starting from uh, left to right, as you can see right here, because I intermittent fast, most I've gotten is 20 hours. Black coffee and sparkling water keep me going. So one of my favorite brands, tastes like a Sprite to me. And uh, got this new flavor, it's a Guava Sao Paulo of some sort. So I'm pretty excited to try this one out right here. And right here, I decided to go with the Upper Deck Young Guns 10. So I just went with one. Um, obviously, hockey not being part of the basketball, football and baseball, you can grab as many of these as you want on there. So don't want to feed into that stereotype of being a douchebag flipper. Um, and leaving some, so I left three right there. And then the couple of soccer that you saw right there, these are going for 10, I looked them up. They were great comps for this, but I'm really curious to uh, rip these up. Don't worry, I left a few boxes over there. 
I left a few boxes for other people to grab. So I grabbed these, these are about $10. And uh, I don't know if this is the first official one for the women's soccer, so this is uh, their version of MLS. So I'm gonna research these stars, but uh, I can't wait to fit these. I'm pretty excited to see what this is as I'm learning different markets uh, with the card hobby. So once again on my day off with my full-time job, I took the day off to go look for more cards. So being up early on my day off and having a full-time job, I'm able to do some fun stuff. So I decided to go to my local Dick Sporting Goods as I heard they had sport cards. Just kidding, I'm totally joking. Just gonna get some stuff for the family and some summer stuff so you can see I actually do normal things and I run errands on there. And as you notice, I love trolling people I love trolling the flipper scalpers because you guys suck. You guys really, really suck. And uh, I like more views on my channel, so I don't really care if you get more dislikes. But you're still watching my content, which is awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna stop in here and then uh, we'll see what surprise I have headed next. So I went to Barnes & Noble and this one right here, the gentleman was really nice. They have it behind the cashier, and as you can see right there, not the most highly sought off product. Probably one of the worst baseball series one, but if you look for Pokemon, Magic, and whatnot, you'll find it at this location. So, on to the because I am almost complete with my business degree and making all my little side hustles, um, because I will be a billionaire one day, have to. Uh, stimulate the mind and educate yourself on business section and I'm not one of those people like other fake people who just take pictures and random stuff of you know things that oh look at me this is what I do and whatnot I'm actually very very big on Robert Kizaki the rich dad poor dad um, I've been reading Kevin O'Leary's a couple of his books I'm thinking of doing Mark Cuban obviously I'm a Warren Buffett uh, fan but I've always been curious to see what people's books that they enjoy watching. So if you're complaining that I'm putting books on my card search, you can, you can go F yourself. But to the smart investors and entrepreneurs out there, you should always be uh, diversifying yourself, learning money. And as much as I don't like a lot of his theories, he does make good points, Dave Ramsey. But, um, you know, it's all, it's all perspective on the way you look at investing, of course. Classic book that you must, must own. Definitely have to understand uh, when basically Robert believes in using debt as making money and uh, not paying taxes when you have debt. Very interesting thought process. But, yeah, now we'll go to the next card show. So at my local card shop, and uh, this is by far my favorite one. So I just wanted to share with you guys some heat today. Look at look at the uh, massive product. It's kind of a beautiful sight. Look at all this product. I might look at getting these Chronicles NFL because I haven't found it retail, uh, but I want to support my LCS and open up some, so I may be doing it today. But they have a great collection of stuff. So even though this is not a retail hunt, I decided to include it in here just so you guys can see kind of my day of card stuff. Of this heat. All right. So last stop uh, of the card searching, 
went into the uh, Barnes & Noble and uh, got this little ordeal for 10 bucks. Decided to check out Don Russ Baseball Kings, even though it's not an affiliated product. I figure, heck, why not? So you're able to get one product per customer at the Barnes & Noble. So that should wrap up our card searching.